The Logic Compressor is brilliant. I've said it a million times. Sometimes it's difficult to get that sound that you're after because you're adjusting the parameters and you're kind of thinking, it's compression, but it doesn't sound exactly like I've got it in my head. Well, sometimes people miss that there are, the different compressors are good for different things. And it's not just a different flavor. Some of them will basically do nothing if you're set wrong. And some of them will do far too much. So I want to show you how to get some snap out of some beats and how to really just add a little bit of extra something. And knowing which compressor emulation to use is massively important there. Let's just jump in. So first off, I've got some basic settings here on uh, the Platinum Digital. And we're going to go through all of these because they each add their own little flavor. But first of all, I'm just going to bring the threshold down and just start hearing some compression. Now, we're aiming to add snap here. We're not aiming to kill transients. That's why I've got the attack kind of a good way up. Um, we're just aiming to add a bit of attack. Let's take a listen. Okay, we're getting a decent amount of attack there, and this is partly due, or a lot due, to the fact that we've got the attack at 130 milliseconds. If I bring that all the way down, you're going to hear the transients just get... So the best way to start this is really start with the attack all the way down and just bring it up until you start to hear those transients just come through and the release needs to be pretty low if you've got it up too high it's going to keep compressing for too long and you're just going to kill stuff again let's bring it all the way up and you'll hear just around there if we bring it to 200 it's killing stuff. As soon as we start bringing it down to sub 100, it's releasing and it's letting the transients poke through. Nice. So we're accentuating that attack. But take a listen to what happens when I start off on Platinum Digital and then go across to Vintage Opto. It's basically doing nothing. It's just making stuff louder because I've got that makeup gain at 5 dB. If I bring that down to zero again and just bypass and bring it back in on Vintage Opto, you're not really going to hear any difference. And that's weird, isn't it? Because all things considered, it should still be compressing. It's because, though, these attack and release are kind of, they're kind of in disguise. In the Vintage Opto, that is based off the LA-2A, and it's super slow. And although we've got the attack and release set the same, it's not the same. It's still kind of taking the idea of the Vintage Opto and essentially slowing stuff down, um, in essence. So we're not going to get what we want out of that. So just by flicking across, we're not actually getting the same settings. And that's interesting because all the settings are staying the same. There are some compressors that are going to be infinitely better for this. If we go over to the Vintage FET, this is a real cheeky one. So let's bring that back up to 5 dB just because we are losing some level there. We'll go between Platinum Digital and then go to Vintage FET and just take a listen to exactly what it's doing. It's squashing it a little bit more, but it's adding so much more knock.
it's really different to the Platinum Digital, and they're both amazingly different from the Vintage Opto. Now, this is the, it's kind of an 1176 or maybe 1178 kind of thing. It's a vintage FET compressor either way. And typically, I see people using this one a lot, the Studio FET. And this certainly has its place, but if you're looking to get some grab and get some kind of attack, this one I don't think is actually the best one to go for. People will go for it on drums, and it is great on drums, on snare drums and stuff, but in this scenario where you're aiming to get a bit of extra transient out of it, it's not actually the best choice, in my humble opinion. Take a listen to Platinum Digital versus Studio FET versus Vintage FET. You'll hear what I mean. The Vintage Fet actually gives it a little bit more grab and it just sounds a bit dirtier. If we bring this down even more, you're going to really hear what I'm talking about. Let's go crazy. Let's go between the Studio Fet and Vintage Fet. The Platinum Digital kind of doesn't know what's going on when you compress that much. It's great, it's clean, but it's not amazing at bringing down transients absolutely loads. And the difference between these two is the Vintage FET, because it's vintage, it does sound kind of dirtier. To me, in a load of different scenarios, this gives a real good kind of grab. And the other ones, we've kind of gone over Platinum Digital, Studio FET, Vintage FET, and Vintage Opto. When you start looking at these ones, the, the whole thing just kind of gets thrown up in the air because particularly on this one, you've got no attack and release, which arguably this one should probably not have an attack and release either because on the actual unit, it doesn't really have that. Um, nor does this one, but this is a completely different sound. So let's just go through them and see what each one is kind of adding and what each one is going to be good for. Okay, so to my ear, the Studio VCA is quite smashy, quite kind of aggressive. The Classic VCA has that familiar kind of knock, and the Vintage VCA has got this glorious kind of bottom end, which the Studio VCA kind of has as well. Let's just go between Studio VCA and Vintage VCA. Now, this is the kind of SSL 4K thing, and this is the, uh, the focus right thing. But you'll notice how the knee disappears on some of these. It's here on that one. It's not here on that one. So not going to go too much into that now. Just understand that the differences between them are pretty massive. You can hear it on the release on this. The, the sustain kind of goes away. Got a good bottom end. Everything just kind of dies, and it's not the attack portion that I have a problem with, it's everything else. It seems to change the release, and it seems to just destroy that sustain a little bit. If we bring the release down, we're maybe going to get a little bit of that back.
Yeah, so these two, the Studio VCA and Vintage VCA, they lengthen the sustain significantly. And they also give that grab to the attacks. They increase the, the kind of beat there. They increase the transient. I think these two are fantastic for adding some snap with a compressor. This one is also fantastic, but it's a little bit dirtier. This one, to my mind, it, it just kills the sustain. It adds that great knock to it, but to me, that's not what it's about. The compressor is a, a two-tier thing. It's about that attack, but it's also about the transient. It's about the, the, the transient coming through, but the sustain coming through as well. This one, to me, is it's fine at low compression settings, but in my mind, getting the real sustain and the snap these ones are where it's at let's just go through them one more time at maybe some more extreme settings and let's just take a listen and let me know which one you think is the best in the comments There you go. Logic stock compressor, seven different compressors and vastly different sounds for all of them. If you're aiming to get that snap out of some drums, personally, I feel like Vintage VCA and Studio VCA are the way forward. They've got that great balance between snap and sustain. Some of the others don't give you the same amount of snap. Some of the others just destroy that sustain. Now, I've got a video also about comparing these to their paid counterparts. I'll stick it at the top um, where you can see a real in-depth look at these compressors but to me i find that they're it's horses for courses some are good for some things some are good for others that vintage opto is never going to be great for drums because that's kind of not what it's all about it's smooth it's for vocals it's for maybe bass it can be good if you're going to extreme settings and if you're really driving it but to get this knock vcas all the way studio vca or vintage vca is my personal preference let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you again soon. Take care.